In addition, more appointment slots would be offered, including early evenings and Saturday mornings. The handy person service would be extended for older and vulnerable tenants. Minor aids and adaptations would be fast-tracked. A five-year external painting programme would be extended for rendering and communal areas. More money to tackle antisocial behaviour and more money to improve grounds maintenance. I'd like to know who would run South Lakes Housing if it became the new landlord. If transfer goes ahead, the new style South Lakes Housing would continue to be run as South Lakes Housing is now, with a management board made up of four tenants, four council nominees and four independent people chosen for their skills. This would mean tenants continue to be at the heart of decision making. You would also continue to see the same familiar faces running the service as you see now. A lot of tenants that I talk to are worried about the rents in the future. Would they stay affordable? Yes, the government has a policy on social housing rents which has been in place for a number of years. This aims to ensure that social housing rents are similar for similar properties in similar areas, whether the landlord is a council or a registered housing provider, like South Lakes Housing would be. This policy means that tenants in South Lakeland should pay similar rents for their homes whether transfer goes ahead or not. For added peace of mind, South Lakes Housing will provide a five-year rent guarantee to transferring tenants that even if the government's current rules change, rents would continue to be set using them. The council cannot offer the same guarantee. And also remember, one of the big differences with transfer is that tenants would get much more for their money. Will tenants still be able to buy their homes if transfer goes ahead? Yes. Tenants who can buy their home now with the council would still be able to buy their home with South Lakes Housing. Remember, your key rights and entitlements would be protected if transfer goes ahead and your entitlement to claim housing benefit would not be affected by the proposed transfer. How do we know that the promises being made would be kept? Well, first of all, tenants will be on the board of South Lakes Housing. There would also be a legally binding contract between South Lakes Housing and the Council. All promises made in the formal offer document sent to tenants will be reflected in this contract to ensure that the Council has a right to enforce the delivery of them. South Lakes Housing would be regulated by the Social Housing Regulator currently the Tenant Services Authority, which would monitor the organisation to help ensure the performance standards are met. I've already had my home improved, what's in it for me? There are still many homes which have not had the improvements they need. For example, some still have bathrooms which are more than 30 years old. The transfer is intending to help ensure every council home in the district is brought up to the South Lakeland standard. However, it is also about the long term with South Lakes Housing aiming to maintain homes and estates, not just for today's tenants, but for future generations. In addition, the transfer would mean everyone benefiting from the improvements to the estates, such as extra money for environmental works like fencing, gates and security. So what would happen to the sheltered scheme managers? Tenants would continue to have their scheme managers if transfer goes ahead. Another important group who would be affected by transfer are the people you see every day, the staff of South Lakes Housing. So what do they make of the proposal? I've worked in the district now for 30 years and during that time I have seen a lot of changes but I do believe that the point we've got to now, the transfer is going to be the biggest change and I do believe it'll be the biggest benefit for the tenants and for the organisation. I think basically it'll be a really good thing for the sheltered housing tenants because they'll have the same faces and they'll keep the same service. So everything that they're going to get, they're going to get a lot more maintenance, they'll get a lot more, basically for a lot more for the money. I think it's a good idea because it will secure the future of South Lakeland housing staff and bring the investment into tenants' homes. I think the uh, transfer will be a, a big investment for uh the tenants and their homes. Don't forget it will secure our future as well. I think it's an excellent idea to be honest. Uh, for the tenants, for the staff, for the whole uh, community really. I mean they've waited far too long for major repairs uh, now we've got a fantastic opportunity to put right what hasn't been put right in the last 30 years. Uh, new kitchens, new bathrooms, fencing um, and from a staff point of view as well it's job security as well. Now transfer isn't a new idea, 
More than 200 housing transfers have taken place involving more than 1 million homes and unlocking more than £14 billion worth of investment. Locally, transfers have taken place in Copeland, Allerdale and Craven. Well, by now you should have received your copy of the formal offer document which explains the Council's proposal in full and you'll also be contacted in the coming weeks so you can get answers to your questions from South Lakes housing staff. Well, I'm joined again by Peter Thornton. Peter, just how important is this proposal for South Lakeland? It's very, very important. If this proposed transfer goes ahead, it will be good for tenants, it will be good for neighbourhoods and it will be good for the whole district. It would help to modernise homes and keep them that way for generations to come and with rents staying at affordable levels. Now, it's clear what benefits tenants would get if there was a yes vote. But what happens if there's a no vote? Well, Eric, in the event of a no vote, there are some things that would stay the same. The council would still be the landlord and South Lakes Housing would continue to manage the homes. But the council would have to pay back the £77 million and investment into tenants' homes would be significantly delayed. We wouldn't be able to do all the improvements tenants want to homes, services and estates. As things stand, the council simply doesn't have the money to bring homes up to the South Lakeland standard which tenants are saying they want to see. Now all political parties have agreed that transfer is the way forwards, but it's up to tenants now to decide whether or not the proposal can go ahead. A tenants ballot will take place shortly, and remember, transfer can only go ahead if the majority of tenants who vote in the ballot vote in favour. I would urge our tenants to read the formal offer document, decide for themselves what they want to see in the future and use their vote. So there you have it. The council believes the transfer is the way forward, but it'll be you, the tenants, who decide. Please take time to read the formal offer document. Please use the council's or the independent tenants advisors free phone information lines if you have any questions. Thanks for taking the time to watch. And please, when the time comes, use your vote. We've got this opportunity to secure the future of our homes. And I'm going to use my vote. Are you going to use yours? Do use your vote. Don't waste it. I'm using my vote. Make sure you use yours. Please use your vote.